Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick on to the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 5 to the power of x plus 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 5 to the power of x is equal to 1. And now I want to find the value of x. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out 5 to the power of x from my left-hand side. So 5 to the power of x divided by 5 to the power of x is 1. So now I have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. And this is equal to 1. Now if I simplify what's in the parentheses, 5 to the power of x times 5 is equal to 1. And now from here, I have two methods to solving this equation. So for method one, I have five to the power of x times five is equal to one. Now five, this is the same thing as five to the power of one. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So five to the power of x times five to the power of one is gonna equal five to the power of x plus one. This is equal to one. Now, any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So we could rewrite 1 here as 5 to the power of 0. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x plus 1 is equal to 0. So now to solve for eps, I'm going to subtract by 1 on both sides. So now I have x is equal to negative 1. Now for method number two, again, start with five to the power of x times five is equal to one. But this time, instead of multiplying five to the power of x with five, I'm going to divide five on both sides. So now I have five to the power of x is equal to one over five. Now, if I have something in the form one over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of negative n. So 1 over 5 is the same thing as 1 over 5 to the power of 1. So this is going to equal 5 to the power of negative 1. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x is equal to negative 1. So those were two methods to solving this equation. Now to check, I have 5 to the power of x plus 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 5 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now we know that x is equal to negative 1, so now I have 5 to the power of negative 1 plus 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 5 to the power of negative 1 is equal to 1. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of negative n, this is the same thing as 1 over a to the power of positive n. So 5 to the power of negative 1, this is going to be 1 over 5 to the power of 1 plus 1 over 5 to the power of 1, plus 1 over 5 to the power of 1, plus 1 over 5 to the power of 1, plus 1 over 5 to the power of 1, is equal to 1. Now, 5 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 5, so now I have 1 over 5, plus 1 over 5, plus 1 over 5, plus 1 over 5, plus 1 over 5, is equal to 1. Now, 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5 is 2 over 5, 2 over 5 plus 1 over 5 is 3 over 5, 3 over 5 plus 1 over 5 is 4 over 5, and 4 over 5 plus 1 over 5 is 5 over 5. So I have 5 over 5 is equal to 1. Anything divided by itself is 1, so now I have 1 is equal to 1. And because this is right, our solution is right as well. All right, so I have 8 to the power of 8 plus 8 to the power of 8 plus 8 to the power of 8 plus 8 to the power of 8. So I actually have four answer choices for this problem. Answer choice A this is 32 to the power of 8. Answer choice B, this is 8 to the power of 32. Answer choice C, this is 32 to the power of 32. And finally, answer choice D, this is 2 to the power of 26. So now let's go ahead and go through all these answer choices. So for answer choice A, how you get 32 to the power of 8 is you simply add all the bases together and keep the exponent the same. 
So I have 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 to the power of 8. Now 8 plus 8 is 16, 16 plus 8 is 24, 24 plus 8 is 32. So I have 32 to the power of 8. And this method is actually wrong. You can't add exponents like that. You can't simply just add all the bases and keep the exponents the same. So now for answer choice B, we have 8 to the power of 32. And how you get this answer is you keep the base the same and you add all the exponents. So I have 8 to the power of 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 is equal to, now 8 plus 8 is 16, 16 plus 8 is 24, 24 plus 8 is 32. So I get 8 to the power of 32. And this method is wrong as well. That's not how you add exponents, or sorry, that's not how you add these terms. You can't just simply add all the exponents together. So now for C, how you get 32 to the power of 32 is you add both of them. You add all the bases together, and then you add all the exponents together as well. And this would result in 32 to the power of 32. And this is wrong as well. That's not how you add x ones. So now finally for D, which is actually the right answer, how you get this is you first start by factoring out 8 to the power of 8. So I 8 to the power of 8 times, well, 8 to the power of 8 divided by 8 to the power of 8 is 1. So I have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Now if I simplify this in the parentheses, I get 8 to the power of 8 times 4. And now 8... This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3, right? And 4, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 8 times 2 to the power of 2. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 8, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times 8 times 2 to the power of 2. 3 times 8 is 24, so I have 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 2, this is going to go 2 to the power of 24 plus 2, which is equal to 2 to the power of 26. So this is the right answer. All right, so I have 2 to the power of 40 plus 2 to the power of 40 plus 2 to the power of 40 plus 2 to the power of 40. And I actually have four answer choices for this problem. So for A, I have 2 to the power of 160. For B, I have 8 to the power of 40. For C, I have 2 to the power of 42. And for D, I have 2 to the power of 21. All right, let's go through all these answer choices. So for A, how they got 2 to the power of 160 was you keep the base the same, and then you simply add all the exponents. So you do 2 to the power of 40 plus 40 plus 40 plus 40. And 40 plus 40 is 80. 80 plus 40 is 120. 120 plus 40 is 160. So you have 2 to the power of 160. And this method is actually wrong because that's not the right way to add exponents. Now let's try out b. b is 8 to the power of 40. How you get this is you, you keep the exponent the same and you simply add the bases. So you do 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 to the power of 40. 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, so you have 8 to the power of 40. And this method is also wrong because that is not the right way to add exponents. You can't simply add the bases all together. Now for C, what you do is you first start by factoring out 2 to the power of 40. So now you have 2 to the power of 40 times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 because 2 to the power of 40 divided by 2 to the power of 40 is 1. Now by simplifying with parentheses, 2 to the power of 40 times 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4. <laughs> so I have 2 to the power of 40 times 4. Now 4, this is the same thing as 2 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of 40 times 2 squared. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. 
So 2 to the power of 40 times 2 to the power of 2 is going to equal 2 to the power of 40 plus 2. And 40 plus 2 is 42, so I have 2 to the power of 42. And this is actually the right way of adding these four terms. So this C is my answer.